Hi everyone, I'm Jody Barrows with The Square in a Square. Welcome to our live webinar today. The purpose of our webinar today is to help you get organized for all of the upcoming events. We have a lot of free events coming up in the next five or six weeks. And then we also have our Quilt Club Week, which is a uh, paid event and it's the last week of September. And then we have Premium Club that is starting right after Labor Day. So we want to do as much as we can to help you get organized, to help you choose colors, and for you to see the new Paradise fabric that we have have. We started our fabric sale for the, I think, 17 pieces of the Paradise line last Saturday. And we have shipped all week. We've uh, made a huge dent in the orders. We still have some to do, and the sale goes clear to the end of September. So don't miss out. Now, if you watched the video last Saturday, I told you there were some that were going to move very, very quickly, and they have. So as we get into looking at these, I'll point those out. If you think you want more, or if you didn't get any on your order, this is kind of your warning that these are going very fast and probably within the next week they're going to be gone. So uh, we'll point those out as we get to them. We've got some quilts to look at and time allowing. I've got a couple of new ones for you to see and we'll give you an update with each quilt so you'll know where you can find it, if there's a kit, where the pattern is, and so on, to try to get you as educated, motivated, and knowledgeable as possible as to all the different things we have going on because there are lots of them. Now, if you are on our email list, you have gotten multiple emails with multiple downloads that have all of this paperwork and schedules and um, option overview, supply list, all of these different things that you'll need. They have been in there. If you are not on the email list, then please, please go to the website squareinasquare.com and sign up with your email. Everything we do is based off of emails, so try to choose one email. If you have multiple emails, choose one and use that email with us all the time. Now, we also have a quilt text hotline, and I love the quilt text hotline. The number for that is 817-713-2879. Yes, I gave that correctly. I always want to make sure I give the correct one. Now, this is for when you want to show me a quilt or you need help with a quilt. If you're having trouble with the download, you want to know something about an order, change an order, add an order, um, or you want to know um, how to find something in the, the web and all that, that is an email question, okay? If you send that on a text, it will delay your answer because I'm going to have to send that to Steve and have Steve help you with that. I don't do that on the quilt text line. That's for me to look at what you're doing, to help make a little video to send you, uh, to help teach you whatever it is that you're trying to do. So that is what that is so that I can help teach you the quilting realm and be your personal teacher and instructor. And I love that, that we have technology today that even though the class is over or, um, so let me just say this, for almost 40 years I have traveled and been on the road. And I always felt bad after I was with a guild or a group or at a show because you have a lecture, you meet all these people, you help teach them, you have a class, you teach them for three hours or six hours, but then when you load up and go, it's over. You cannot go back and watch that again. You cannot go back and see exactly what I was doing and what did I say and how did I hold it and, and all of that. Um, you don't have the up close uh, like we do with our cameras and stuff. So I really love the teaching online. It is, it is better for me and it is better for you guys because when the, the class never really is over, you can go back and keep watching it over and over again. And you know, you may get started on something and then something gets in the way and it's a couple of weeks or months. We've even had people contact us years later and say, I took this in your class, I wanna go back and finish it, what do we do? You know, and it was difficult to try to figure out what they were doing and where they were at and how to help. But now with the videos and the online stuff, we are right there to help you and have it ready to go. So I so, so love the ability to be able to do all of this teaching online and that your teacher is there all the time. You know, so many times people contact us on Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Sunday morning or whatever, you know, not normal business hours. And there's a high likely possibility that I'll be right there to answer you pretty quickly. So um, 
you know, that uh, we love to be able to, to do that. Um, quilting and teaching and doing all of this that we do is really our life. Um, and so we do it 24 seven and we love it. And we love the communication and interaction with you guys. So just because it's online and it's not in person, don't think that um, you're not gonna get everything that you need or be able to learn what you want to learn and to be able to improve your skills because we're right here. We're just a tap on the keyboard away, whether it's on your smartphone or, or on your actual computer. So um, um, if you have any questions today, go ahead and get those in. Like I said, we're gonna talk about lots of different things and I'm gonna try to do this all in a concise period of time. So I'm gonna go a little faster than what I normally do. Um, we did a really in-depth, almost two-hour video last Saturday, so you can go back and watch that one, but you'll, you can also go back and watch this one again, okay? And um, ask questions as we go. Make sure you like and share, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, and tell all your friends about what we're doing. We're doing a lot of free stuff um, to kick off and get ready for the fall quilting season, and then we've got some wonderful, very economical paid classes and things that you can do too. So first of all, let's talk about quilt club week quilt club week we started in 2020 when nobody could go to any quilt shows and we were like how could you how can we give you the quilt show experience in the comfort and safety of your own home so when you go to a quilt show of course you go and look at vendors you look at new things you see quick demos you see long demos you see lectures you have short classes long classes in-depth classes and all kinds of tips and hints that you'll learn you're going to get motivated inspired and Increase your knowledge and your ability so that you can be able to make almost any quilt that you see that you want to make. I always say that once you learn what we teach with the square and a square, the science of patchwork, overcutting, and all these different little uh, strip methods and all of this, you will up your game so much that you will become the piecer that you've always dreamed about. And I'm sure there are lots of people on that are watching today that would say that is right because we get emails and text messages all the time that says, I've been sewing five years, 20 years, 40 years, and I've learned more by watching you in the last six months and participating in your different teaching environments than I have in my whole life of sewing and quilting. So, so if you will just make sure that you watch and tune in, you're going to have fun, be motivated, and increase your knowledge and your skill level. We are all about education. We're all about teaching. That's what I love to do. And uh, I've got my husband, Steve, that helps get this all technology put together so that I can, can bring this right into the comfort of your own home. Okay, so Quilt Club Week, we're go we have all of those things. We have little classes, little lectures, in-depth classes, little crafty things. Just um, one of the lectures that we uh, did with Sherry for Quilt Club Week this year um, is this, uh, this one, Yellow and Blue Storm at Sea, which... I'll tell you about, but Quilt Club Week is the last week of September. Until the end of August, you can get it for $57, and after that, it's going to go up to $77. You can get in that $57 or $77 purchase, you'll get Quilt Club Week for 2020, 2021, 2022, and then be ready to go and watch 2023 when it opens up the last week of September. We um, have worked all summer on getting everything organized and prepared so that we can show you some of the stuff that we're going to teach and what you're going to see. A lot of times with our past quilt club weeks, we didn't have a lot of time to have as much stuff, the fabric, the quilts, and all of that ahead of time to show you, but we've been working on it all year, so it's helped us get ahead of the, the game so that we can show you more. But you know, when you go to a quilt show, you don't know what you're gonna see, you don't know what lecture you're gonna get to set in on, and so, you know, that's kinda like what Quilt Club Week is. You may not know everything that you're gonna see and do, but we're gonna give you a little bit of um, information on all of that, and then in Quilt Club Week, um, so it will, um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that last week of September, the stuff that we do is open to the public and we'll have a little bit each day, whether it's a lecture or whether it's a class, we'll have a little bit. And then on Wednesday night, it's just for the paid people that are attending Quilt Club Week. We call it uh, QCW23. And uh, we'll have an early bird on Wednesday, which is usually a little teaching and a lecture. And then Thursday morning, Friday morning, and Saturday morning, each morning, all of the lectures and classes are going to be loaded for that day. So you'll have specific ones for Thursday, 
a new set of specific classes, lectures, demos on Friday, and then so on on Saturday. And of course, you can go back and watch any of the day before um, any time that you want. So on Friday, if you want to go back and watch something we did on Thursday, just go over to Thursday and watch it over again. And then you'll have your classes for an extended time after Quilt Club Week. I don't have that information in my head, but just email Steve if you have a question on that. Um, and so that's Quilt Club Week. I'm going to show you some quilts as we get into showing you the quilts. Then there's Premium Club. Premium Club is a fall semester and a spring semester. It goes all year long. You buy a year membership and um, we do classes each Monday during the fall, each Monday during the spring semesters. Each semester has a focus point of what we're learning, the concept of whatever it is we're doing that week. Uh, you're down, you can download your patterns. They come as a part of that. And then also when you sign up for Premium Club, um, there is a discount on books and rulers and stuff for like two weeks or whatever. You can get whatever you want of the square and a square uh, tools and books um, at a discount. Now, if you are uh, in Premium Club, then Quilt Club Week is a part of that. That's part of our, our Premium Club. It's not a, an add-on or a separate event that you pay for. So it could be that you've signed up for Quilt Club Week and you want to move that money that you use to pay for Quilt Club Week and add some to it to pay for Premium Club. You can do that. You have a limited time. You can do that. Just email Steve at steve at squareandasquare.com and he can help you do that and move you over. Now everything we do is done with emails, so make sure you stay consistent with your email. And when you also email us, then we know who we're talking to. When you quilt text us, we don't know who we're talking to. So even if you ask me a question about your order, I don't know who you are, so I can't answer that. I have to go to Steve for that anyway. So that's another reason why we have a separation on what happens on the quilt text line and then what happens in the email because the email is stuff that we have to keep track of and know and be able to refer back to and, and all of that to have records up. Okay. All right. Any questions, Mr. Steve? I'm moving pretty fast here. We're all good. Okay. Um, back earlier in the summer, I did a video that talked about and showed some of these beautiful Longerberger baskets that um, I have taken from my collection to share with you guys. And so go to the website and look at the Longerberger baskets that we have. It'll give you sizes and all of that. And in the video, we went through all of them and showed you the different ones. We still have a few of them left. And these are great to put your threads and your scissors and a little pin cushion and stuff is. So if you do handwork or you want to take something to the car, maybe you do English paper piecing, these are great ways to keep your, fun, and they're fun, to keep your things organized and together. So this one is a Longaberger inaugural basket of 08. It has the cute little charm on it. It has the wood lid, the plastic protector, and the fabric inside. So I've just got two I'm going to show you, but there's a few more on the website. This one is about an eight inch cube and it is a 95 Christmas collection and it's got the two swing handles. It's got the beautiful cranberry red weave. It has um, uh, the plastic liner and the fabric liner and the wood lid. So just two of those and just a reminder we have a couple of these left and um, I'm willing to share them with um, you guys and probably um, Sometime between Quilt Club Week and holiday time, um, if, if whatever's not gone, we'll take them off the website and they'll go back in my collection. And so um, you have, I guess I said I have a limited time and all of the baskets, there's just one of each. So if someone already chooses it, there's no way to get another one for you. That one, like I read, was like a 03 and a... Oh, an 08 and a 95 or something like that. Okay, so those are those collectible ones. Now, one other item I want to show you, and then we'll get into talking about some classes, quilts, and fabric, because I want to get it cleared off of my table, is that our new fabric collection of Paradise, so if you look down here, you can see all of these beautiful different fabrics and combinations. We have three different threads that you can order that go with. You can use this for machine quilting. Uh, it's 100% cotton. It's a 50 weight. These big spools like this have almost 1,500, no, uh, e yeah, it has almost 1,500 yards each on each spool. The pink, the orange, and kind of the greenish yellow, that's called your neon pack, just like that. And then we have the big pack, comes in this nice little plastic kit. Um, 
it, there's three new colors. These are the Tulia pink colors, and it, they're made by um, Eurofill. There's 12 large spools. Each one has almost 1,500, 50 weight, and 100% cotton. So you can see how all of these just go so um, perfectly with our different colors. And I love this, love, love, love this thread. If you haven't used it, um, it is a must. Then I like to do um, applique and English paper piecing. So here are the small spools. And of course, all of the packaging for all of these collections is always just um, so unique and beautiful. So these are the smaller spools. There's 24 in there. There's neons and neutrals, three new colors. Once again, it's the 100% cotton and the 50 weight. Um, oh, I'm sorry, there's 20 small spools, uh, 220 yards on each one, 100% cotton. And we have limited supplies on these. Um, we just have a few left. And uh, these are regular price. Your fill is very uh, picky about um, not discounting or putting the threads at a lower price. So these are the same that everybody's is. I don't think you can go anywhere and get one at a different price than that. Then I want to show you these two little boxes. So on our fabric sale, if you order $150, you'll get free shipping. So make sure you get at least $150 for that free shipping. With shipping today, that's nothing to just pass on and say, oh, I don't, I don't need to worry about getting my free shipping. It, you know, shipping is a big deal nowadays. So, and we also, Steve does really good at getting the best shipping prices that we can get as we've been shipping all week and of course, everybody's orders they've gotten free shipping but Steve has talked about just how good the shipping is for the different companies that we work with that supply that for us and so um, I'm really excited about that that we and uh, that when you do pay shipping we get to offer that savings on to you in the shipping price so $150 order you're going to get free shipping and of course anything up now with a $300 order and for every $300 increments you're going to get a set of boxes so some people have gotten multiple sets of boxes with their order so here's the small one and I don't know if I have the measurements here with me I did in the other one um, Let's just kind of see real quick. So they're uh, both about two inches tall. Uh, this is four by six. And you have your little sticker that you can put on. And we're just putting the stickers inside the box loose. So if you want to put them on the box, you can. Or if you want to put them somewhere else, you can. And uh, then you can also order extra stickers if you want to. But you can get three, about 10 spools of thread in this small one of the bigger ones. Or any of your little sewing knickknacks. Even your little applique pieces, your English paper piecing, whatever. And then we have the larger one. It's um, nine inches by six inches, and it's about two inches tall. And you can see see how they're just loose in here, and then you can do with your sticker what you want. And you can see they're large enough for the bigger sewing shears, rotary cutters, all that. And they've got two little hooks on that. So those are some nice little goodies we've got for you. I'm always trying to look for fun things for you guys and... Um, just be able to give you guys a thank you gift for your order. You're already getting a discount on your fabric, you're getting free shipping, and you get those little boxes. So take advantage of our fabric sale, get in on these little extra swag bag things that we're doing for you. Now, let's talk about um, a couple of the classes, and um, then we'll come back down and look at fabric and talk about that um, again. So on Mondays, um, I don't have my schedule here in front of me. On Mondays, from now to Quilt Club Week, we're going to have a free class for everybody. So we had one last week, which was Soldier's Comfort. When we get to the quilts, I'll show you that. And then on these Mondays, moving up to Quilt Club Week, and then those free days of Quilt Club Week, some of these quilts are what we're going to show you and talk about, okay? So I hope you have your pencil and paper, because I'm going to start telling you when this is going to be taught, and all of the information about it, where you can find the pattern, and so on. Okay, so this first one right here that you're looking at, this one is called um, Midnight in the Pumpkin Patch. This is going to be a little quick demo class that we're going to teach during one of the Mondays or during those pre-days of Quilt Club Week. This will be one of our free classes, and you'll learn some about the very beginning of this diamond shape, and we'll show you how this is put together. Now, this is our 
um, orange and green and black diamond dot fabric from our fabric collection. So if you're ordering um, on our fabrics, if you order three yards or more of the same color, print, design, or whatever, then you're going to get it at $10 a yard. We also, um, um, on the website, you can click um, like a three yard bundle, and that means you're gonna get a three yard piece of all 17 of the pieces. Um, or you can go in and pick and choose. You want this one in four yards, and you want this one in five yards, and this one in whatever. Now, something that we've never done before is we have a one yard bundle and a two yard bundle. That means you're gonna get a one yard piece of all 17, or you can click and get a two yard piece of all 17. And we've never done those bundles before. They are flying out the door as well as, you know, 20 yards and 10 yards. I mean, 70 yard boxes, 70 pound boxes we have been shipping all week that where people have ordered 10 yards and up of every piece of fabric. So it doesn't take long for the fabric to get gone when you're shipping 10 yards and 20 yards of, a, of the different pieces. So, plus, I, I really want you guys to be able to get the stuff on sale. When the sale is over and someone comes in and orders a three yard piece, you know, in October, I'm like, ah, they could have got this on sale if they just would have ordered it then. And I promise you, you're gonna want all of these because of the different things that we're doing. So this one here uses the black, the orange, and the green. So the black diamond dot, the aqua diamond dot, so let's just look at those. The, let's look down here at the screen for just a minute. So here is the black diamond dot. Here's the green diamond dot. You can see that little design on this green one better than you can the, the black. And the aqua, okay, I'm sorry, let me start over. The orange and the aqua, the black, and then of course the gray. Those are flying out the door. If you're wanting the gray, the orange, the aqua, or the black, you better get in there and get it ordered because they're going to be gone in a matter of days. Um, we're already talking about, you know, what, what do we do if, if it goes, you know. Uh, obviously the black will bring back, but you know, that's gonna be nine months. You can't just, since we're the manufacturers, we don't just call the fabric house and say, hey, do you have any more of that black diamond dot? You know, we have to go to the mill and print thousands of yards of it. So it takes a while to get in line and to get that all done. So even if we run out and even if we go back for more, it's gonna be a length of time. So those of you participating in our fall stuff, make sure you don't delay on getting your, your fabrics, okay? All right, so this one uses three of those, the orange, the green, and the black. This pattern is Midnight in the Pumpkin Patch. It's in our main book, the Square in a Square Reference Book One. And that is a book that if there's only one book that people get, this is the main book for the whole system. When I do the videos on the quilt text line, I usually say, do you have this book? Go to page 34, look at that chart, and then I make a little video teaching them what they need to know, but also teaching them how to use what's right here in their hand. The, uh, there's very seldom, is there anything that people ask me that you can't find in this book? This is the main, main book for the square and a square system and for our patterns. Okay, so that's where you'll find this. You can um, uh, buy yardage and just cut what you need off for it, um, but we also have a little kit. Now, the, the kits do not have any sale on them except if you order $150, you get free shipping, okay? So go in and buy the yardage so that you can get the better price because all of these colors, it's not too much to get three yards of all of these. And the black, I would get, I would get more because you're going to want it. You're going to need it. You're going to love it. Okay, now let's look at this one. This one right here is called Gold Rush, and Gold Rush is in the Maley Women book. You can see it here in the Vintage Fabrics, and you can see the, the applique. This is one that we're going to teach during Quilt Club Week, and I'm also going to be showing it in the Paradise colors. I don't have that to show you yet, but we're going to keep doing these little informative videos up into Quilt Club Week. So when I get that one ready to go, I will show you. But right now we have a limited number of these kits because of this red and black check. So when this particular, this grouping of kits is gone, that will be it because of this red and black check. And I don't like to substitute 
when you see a kit, I want you to know that you're getting that exact fabric. So I'm really picky about that. So if somebody wants it and they're gone, I will tell you, well, we're going to use this instead of the red and black check to make sure that you're okay with that. Well, you won't get do you won't be surprised with what's in your kit, okay? And then this is the um, starch method on the um, applique. It's very easy to do. I tell you, everything I do is easy. If it's not easy, I don't do it. So um, I will show you an easy way of how to do this. We use option 11s, option 4s, option 3s in this one. It looks like a difficult pattern, but it's really not at all. So this is Gold Rush. It's in your Maley Women Pattern Book. We do have kits. They're ready to go. We can ship them out ASAP. And we will show, it's a class for Quilt Club Week, and we will show it in the Paradise Fabric, okay? Any questions, Mr. Steve? I'm still working on the applique on this. I have um, two more blocks on it to do, so. I'll get one more done and then I'll save the last one to um, show you guys during Quilt Club Week, okay? Sounds like a good deal to me. Now this one right here is the Storm at Sea pattern. During Quilt Club Week, we have a lecture that Sherry and I worked on together to talk about the Storm at Sea, the different blocks that are involved, how you can mix them up, and all of the wonderful, wonderful different designs you can make just with the concept of the Storm at Sea. Normally it's a pattern that people look at. I mean, I looked at it for 20 years before I started doing it with the square and a square system, and I just always thought that's there's too many human elements. There's too many cutting, sewing, and pressings of where the human can mess up. And people wanted you to paper piece it and do this and do that and do set in pieces and all these long, thin points and everything was just very, very complicated. But with the square and a square system, we have turned it into a quilt that anybody can make. And when you see the lecture during Quilt Club Week and the multiple quilts that we show you and how we break it down and show you all the different components, there's really just three. There's just three components in here and then what you can do inside of it. So this past spring during Premium Club, we worked on a quilt that we called the Grid Quilt. And the concept of that was to look at a big square, put the little squares inside of it, and then inside those squares, what you could do and how you can create. So it was, it was looking at a grid because you have to be able to start pattern adapting and, and building your own um, ideas of what you want. You have to understand that grid uh, and, of course, the charts in the, the reference book. So this one is going to be... Um, uh, this, this lecture I'm so, so, so excited about because we had so many different quilts to show you. I really think, but not so many you'll get overwhelmed because that is a thing. If you see too much, then you get overwhelmed. But, um, but just to see how easy this is and how you can switch it up and create so many different designs. Now this one with the color, we did it so that the stars jump out that, and this, this aqua part here and, um, so when you do a storm at sea, you can put it together so that you do get that storm on the water and that's all done with color. Or you can put them together with color to have other things jump out. Now I want you to notice how that any of these diamond dots, the aqua, the yellow, the whatever, they can um, um, complete the contrast. They create the contrast in a quilt so that your different designs jump out. Now this is why the aqua has, has almost sold out just in one week is because it goes with every piece of fabric. So there's 17 pieces in the collection and this aqua goes with all, all of the other 16. It's very friendly. It has a huge friend group. Uh, the black diamond dot has a huge friend group. It goes with everything in there. The gray one it goes with all of them. So you get those three and put them with the rest and you have got a great quilt party going on, let me tell you. So that one is the Storm at Sea. And this is a lecture that you can get during Quilt Club Week. Now in past Quilt Club Weeks, we actually did the in-depth class for the Storm at Sea. So if you join Quilt Club Week now, you can go in and watch that. It's already in there ready to go. You can watch all the 2020, 21, 22, um, now while you're waiting in the next couple weeks for Quilt Club Week to start. 
So as you guys can tell, I'm super excited and super jazzed about all of the different opportunities you're going to have to learn and improve. Now this one here is called Lady of the Lake and it is a kit and it's an individual pattern. And this one, you can see how the Lady of the Lake makes this cute little windmill. So it's the Lady of the Lake windmill. Now we taught Lady of the Lake last fall in Premium Club when we taught the Firefly, because the Firefly is when you have lots of triangles going in a row. And the way that we do the Firefly in a strip piecing method is just, it is a game changer. Last fall, everybody was like, Oh my gosh, this is a game changer. This helps me look at quilts with lots of triangles and realize that I can do this and it's very fast and very easy. We've always had half square triangles, option four, but they were just individual half square triangle units. Now you can get all of these in a, in a row. This one has um, one, two, three, four in a row. Before. Before. Yeah, so it's square and a square option four. We've had that for 40 years where you get half square triangles, okay? Now, this one you can see um, the kit is just like this. It has the stick background. It has the red fuzzy leaf and the red floral. I love quilts that basically you would look at this and say it's a two color quilt, your background and your red. But when you do that, add some different flavors or values of those reds. It helps just give it a little bit more taste, flavor, depth, uh, intrigue, it just helps make it uh, more beautiful. Now, I am, I am overloaded with my time with the shipping and fine tuning patterns and making more samples because I just want you to be able to see as much as everything as you can. But I'm trying to get another color combo made up of this one. And I will tell you what I'm just kind of over the top crazy thinking about doing. I'm going to use uh, where is it? I'm going to use the orange vine. So if you'll look down here and the black and I'll probably use, um, I'll probably, I'm going to use the black floral, the orange uh, floral vine and probably the dirt stick. Um, I might use the, the beige check, but that's what the sample I'm trying to get. You know, right now with fall, and we have sold so much orange and black fabric this past week from the vintage orange to all the new ones, we have sold so much. Um, I don't know if it's because we showed the, um, as the flow, as the flow, as the flow flies, as the crow flies uh, is one of our new ones, or if it's just fall and everybody is thinking about uh, the fall colors, but the, or, all of the oranges and blacks and the greens that go with it are just, are just really going out the door. So I can't wait to get this one made in those two new colors. This um, orange uh, vintage um, vine is just so delicate and so beautiful and so, so light. Um, just enough flavor, but not too much. It's, it's just exquisite. It's got great value and great design. Truly, I'm surprised I have any of this one left. It is such a luscious fabric. Okay, so now let's look at our um, crow over here. This one is, um, okay, so Lady of Lake, it's individual pattern, standalone, um, kit available, and it will be taught during Quilt Club Week, okay? And so when you go to the website, there's a search bar at the top for those of you that are not um, savvy. I'm not savvy, so I'm not putting anybody down for that. I don't, I don't, um, I can do whatever I want with my iPad and my smartphone, but when it comes to getting on a computer or whatever, I, I don't always feel comfortable with that. Steve's always the master at that. I just let him, I just let him do it. Okay, so this one is As the Crow Flies. It's a quilt that we'll teach during Quilt Club Week. It's one that I'm teaching. I think it's on Friday during Quilt Club Week. And um, very fast method to get these little crows done. We're gonna do the firefly for those half square triangles. We do strip piecing for these little legs so it's not difficult at all. We cut stuff bigger and then trim it down to help remove that human element with the cutting, sewing, and pressing so you can get more perfection. And we love, love, love that. Now also, uh, this one would be great to use Christmas fabrics in here and do like a red bird. Doesn't have to be a cardinal, it can just be a red bird. So that's another idea that you can do. But my sister said when I showed it to her, so I said, my I have a niece, 
over 40, she saw it and she's like, oh, Jody, will you please put me in your wheel and give me that quilt? She's not a quilter. She's a wonderful person and very talented at what she does, but she doesn't do the quilting. And so I'm going to surprise her and make her one or maybe just give her mine and then I'll make another one. But the other idea that we have for this one is using the blacks and the grays and uh, some creams and making it all just black and gray and cream and then maybe putting a little bit of red or something in the border. I can't wait to do that one. Just very, what do you call that? Monochromatic when it's just different values of the shade, of the same shade. That one will be a lot of fun. Okay, so any questions, Steve, from anybody? Okay. Y'all having fun? I'm having fun. I'm just a one girl party up here today. <laughs> Steve said, am I not, is he not cheering me on? And the other thing at Quilt Club Week this year, I didn't really realize when we were planning the quilts, it wasn't like my focus or my theme. But so many of the quilts, so those of you that are signed up for Quilt Club Week, uh, take advantage of this that I'm telling you, is, is that if you do not have a four patch ruler, we're gonna use the four patch ruler. And so you're getting this $150 free shipping, add that to your order, get your free shipping on your ruler. So many of the quilts have like a four patch in them. And so you're gonna get a lot of different classes and use with the four patch ruler. Now there's one class called Postage Stamp Star that I'll show you the quilt on here in a minute, it's underneath here. And in that postage stamp star, you're gonna get in-depth diamond information and you're gonna get in-depth four patch information. That's where the core of all of that is going to be is in that postage stamp star. So I'm really excited about that, that you're gonna get um, not just a quick flyby teaching of boom, 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 this is how you do it, but a real deep instruction talking about the ruler, all the different tips and hints that go with it. Um, and so on. Okay, now this one is called Double Star. It is an individual pattern that stands alone. I've had it for over 20 years, maybe 25 years. And in that pattern, you're gonna get multiple sizes. So if you wanna do little three inch stars and option ones up to the 12 inch, you can do that. But in here, we've used the six inches and this is going to be, um, I don't know if this is one of our free classes or if this is maybe our Wednesday night early bird um, I'll have to let you know of that as we go, but this is one of the classes that we'll be teaching this fall. It is a kit that you can order off the website if you want to just order the kit and do it exactly like this. And of course the pattern comes with it and that's the only place the pattern is, is just the individual pattern. Of course you can order it by itself or it comes with the kit. Now something else about some of these quilts that are like 50 by 50, like 60 by 60 and down, it's really easier if you buy the backing for that quilt at the same time and so we've included that in the kit and in the pattern we've even given you a diagram of how to cut your fabric because your borders you want to be able to cut that the length of fabric and so if you um, um, have your fabric and of course it's 40 by however many yards and you cut these borders off the bottom if you know how many to cut then you can use that middle part and sew it together with another middle part and get a piece big enough for your backing. So you're really saving money and saving fabric on these quilts that are like 60 by 60 and smaller by buying the backing at the same time. Because when you think about buying uh, fabric for your back, let's say that you know your fabric is at least 40 inches. It, they always say 44, 45, but I always figure 40 inches. So if your fabric is 40 inches and you sew two of those together, that's 80 inches. So if your quilts are, you know, 80 or below, then you need that full width of that fabric. But it's nice to be able to cut, you know, a couple of two inch strips off of that selvage edge, the length of fabric or a couple of six inch strips and still have that backing in the middle. So we've given you all of that information in your kits, okay? Question, Mr. Steve? This one is double star and I love this one. It's very fallish and I like that purple thrown in for the fall. So this would work good for September, October, November for all of it. Um, I don't like, um, um, I don't want the scary or the spooky stuff. So I don't do that in any of my designs or in any of my fabrics, but I still enjoy the season and being able to use those colors. So 
that's what I have here in this one. Question. Back to the crow, when are you, are you teaching that sometime? Yes, the uh, crow quilt uh, is called As the Crow Flies. You can get a kit, which of course includes a pattern. You can buy the pattern individually. And the pattern is one of our new little books. Uh, I don't have one of those over here. Oh, yes, I do. Um, so uh, the pattern is a little book like this. And it's on sale to the end of September. So make sure you, I think you can save three bucks. So make sure you add that to your order and get it on sale, okay? And this one, uh, this one is either going to be one of our, it'll be closer to Quilt Club Week, um, it'll e either be one of our free ones that we teach before Quilt Club Week on that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, um, or it'll be um, one of my lives that I teach maybe on Wednesday. So there's some classes that I teach that are pre-recorded that are in the Quilt Club Week uh, module, and then there's our live classes that I do each day too, because I know I can't teach every class live because it's, it's too much for your brain to be able to do that. Um, so we pre-record and then I do lives, because I know you like the lives, I like the lives, you can ask questions right then. And, and of course with the lives, you go back in and replay them and watch them over and over again, okay? Okay, back to the crow, are you teaching that? The Crow, yes, I'm teaching The Crow. It's being taught during Quilt Club Week, and I think it is on the Friday, because we have Early Bird Wednesday night, Thursday is, I think, Postage Stamp Star, and then um, Friday is The Crow. And then I think Saturday is either Gold Rush or Lady of the Lake, so. Because some of those are live, so they're not already pre-recorded and in the module, in the lineup, ready to go. So it's not like we have to choose which day those are going to be taught. Okay, does that answer? Yeah, it doesn't look like the baskets are activated. The baskets are not activated on the, web not on the website? So. Well, they, they are on the website because we loaded yeah, them, sure. but for some reason they're not activated. Well, Steve will get that done so that, so that you can see them and order them because they're very special, they're very unique, they're very limited, they're fun to work with with your sewing. I love having a cute little thing to work with, uh, with my sewing. It uh, just makes it more fun. And when, you know, this is all I do, so I need to make it as fun as I can. Okay, so this one, more questions? Are we ready to move on? Uh, I just want to find the baskets. Okay, he'll, if he can find the baskets while we're doing it and activate them, then he'll do it. If not, when we're done, he will, okay? All right. We got to keep moving here. So this one is Soldier's Comfort. This is the class I taught last Monday. So you can go back in to the webinars and you can see this one that we did. Now, I had a new, brand new student. She's brand new to Square and a Square. She's brand new to even strip piecing. And I got an email from her and her quilt on how she put it together. And she was just working with her stash and some scraps, being a newbie and trying to get the hang of what she's doing. She talked about how strip piecing was difficult for her because you sew these strips together and then you cut them up and place them in their block in their in the block or in the unit the way you want them. You know, people are used to cutting out each individual square and rectangle and sewing those together, those together, and those together. And that's a lot of human element. And even a simple quilt like this can be difficult for a beginner sewing all of those little individual pieces. So she says, I learned the three human elements very quickly, cut, sew, press. Um, she said, I found my brain reverting to the traditional method of cutting each piece in the block individually versus sewing the strips together. She said, I really had to think. And um, so I drew the blocks out on, on uh, paper and colored them in, and that is how you work. Uh, she just wanted to know if that's how I work, and I do. I do love to draw things out, color it in, then it's right there in front of you, and it, and it makes it easy to do. She said, in watching your past videos, I think you would recommend making two different strip sets. One strip set, um, well, then she goes on to talk about something else, but she talks about how that... Um, the way that you set the quilt together can change the whole look. And when it changes the whole look, it may change the way that you want to put it together. So what she did was, uh, when she made her soldier's block, she did not sew her soldier's block to a solid um, setting square or solid block. 
she put soldier's comfort, soldier's comfort, soldier's comfort. So when you do that, you get a four patch right here in the middle. And so that does change the way that you would approach putting the quilt together. So let's bring the quilt. Um, I'm going to show you her picture. She did a great job. I don't think she would mind. So let's look at this down here. So you can see the individual soldier's comfort and how she put them together right next to each other. She did do two color combos, the one with the white in the center and then the darker one with the darker in the center. But see how this makes a four patch and I'm going to say a split rail, multiple rectangles coming together. And that's what that row is. And then this row is just uh, a solid rectangle with a solid square and so on. So it does change the way that you would put a quilt together, the way that you set it together. And it changes, um, it can change the options too. So um, I always enjoy getting the emails um, and the text messages. Keep, keep doing that. Okay, so here, this is um, the class from last week, Soldier's Comfort. You can get it for a kit. The pattern is a download or you can watch the video come up with your own numbers for your sizes and get after it. It's really very easy. I like to show the quilts in as many different fabrics and color combos as possible. So here you can see it in with the vintage fabrics and here it is with the paradise. And once again, notice the contrast in the vintage fabrics that you uh, want to make sure that you keep that contrast and that's what those diamond dots do. They help you build that separation and that contrast. And so all of these quilts that we've made use the Paradise is to help you see how to use the fabrics and what um, goes together. And obviously we have not had time to even do a drop in the bucket of the different uh, quilts you can make. And of course this one is um, same uh, pattern, Soldier's Comfort. It's made from the vintage fabrics. I really love this one and the the softness um, of it. Now this next one here is called um, Disappearing Star. So when you look at it, you may just see the squares in the row, but then sometimes you look at it and you see the star with the black star points. And some of them, depending on your fabrics and your contrast, jump out really nice like this. And then others um, disappear, they're more hidden. And I'll show you that one here in just a minute. You, you don't really see the star, it's disappeared in it. And it has to do with contrast of the different fabrics. Now I want you to notice the Bird Paradise, exquisite, lovely fabric. And then we have the black diamond dot and the aqua. Notice how the aqua, lime green, I mean all of them, all of them can be mixed together and go with everything. And this will be one of the free classes that we teach either on the Mondays building up to Quilt Club Week or during that Sunday to Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of pre-Quilt Club Week. So there's pre-Quilt Club Week that's free to everybody. And then Wednesday is our early bird. It's our kickoff. So it's just kind of like an evening uh, thing or afternoon or evening. And then, um, and then our um, classes on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And we have a surprise at the end for you too. So on Sunday, we don't wanna show you all of it, give away all the surprises right now. Okay, this one is the other disappearing star. So if you look at the, the red um, stick fabric, those are the points of the star. You might see that red star jump out. And this is option two. So when we do our classes for the option overview, we don't do option two, you're gonna get option two in this particular one. So that brings me to the option overview. Let's look at our little book down here. We have a question? Yes, on cutting for the, um, on the supply sheet, should we cut, it says to cut 14 one and three fourths inch strips. Do we cut them all in the same fabric or do we use different fabrics? So um, we'll, we'll talk about that. So um, you should have a supply list for the option overview. It tells you to cut squares and it tells you to cut strips. Now, sometimes, 99.9% .9 of the time, students focus on the color instead of on the technique and what we're doing. So if you switch up a lot of color 
it could be confusing to you that you focus on the color. If you keep like the one and three fourths inch strips, if you keep them all the same, then I think for what we're doing, it's easier because you get to focus on the technique and that's what this is all about, not the color. The color comes later. Color comes later as into learning where to put color to create the different designs. So, um, um, you know, depending on um, your level that you're starting at in sewing, uh, quilting, and then the level you're starting at with square and a square and so on. To me, if you're new to all of it, then keep all of the squares the same color, keep the one and three fourths inch strips the same color, keep the next uh, width of strips the same color. I hate to say what they are, I think they're two and a fourth, but go with your sheet, not that, and, um, and then the other row. So let's say your center's white, your first row of strips are all red, the next width of strips are all light, your next row of strips are all dark. All right, so hopefully that helps. If it doesn't, ask again and I'll, I'll see if I can say it a different you way. You need contrast between the squares and the strips. Yeah, you want contrast so that you can see that seam because part of that, your, the way that your brain works is it, it works in a grid. Your brain works in a grid. There are common everyday things out there that's in your grid that you have programmed in there. Squares, circles, rectangles. So with the square and a square, you're going to get multiple pieces inside a square, multiple pieces inside a rectangle. And the seams in there, you need to help get those shapes in the grid in your head so that when you look at a quilt, you get what we call square eyes and you're like, oh, okay, that's an option too. Square in the middle, sew around it one time, sew around it the second time. So see how the center, see how the centers are all the same, whether it's dark or light, doesn't matter. Just keep them all the same. Then your next row of strips that are the one and three fourths, keep them all the same color, just like we did here, but make sure you have a contrast so that you can see that seam. If you put a black and a black, it's not gonna help you learn it the way I want you to learn it. So the next one that you go around, I don't know what size those are, but make sure you have a contrast. Keep them all the same. Make so square in the center, first row going around, second row going around, Okay. Okay. So on this one, look at the. Look for the red points. Does that help you see it a little bit? This is the center of the star, and these are the points of the star. Okay. All right. So let's look at our little book down here. Um, if you're in Premium Club, uh, you can download this little cover to go in your notebook. So if you get a notebook with a plastic. Um, a sleeve in the front, then you can download that and put that in. Make sure you get at least two or three inches in your binder so you can have lots of room. I have these plastic pages. If you're in a uh, premium club, you can download some sheets for your book. And then as we go in and sew them, we're going to work on it. So the very first um, class we have, we're going to do option one, option um, eight, option 11 and option 13. So there's a, here's option eight and then so on. So we're, we're teaching them in the family lineup. So does this one have the family in it? No. Um, also in Premium Club, there's a page that has the family tree or the family lineup. Um, I don't, I have a couple of these little books because I've made so many over the years. So it must be in my other book. If you're in Premium Club, you can download those. Now, if you have not made your option overview book, then jump in here and do it. This is key to learning the system. I can't um, express that enough. And I'm offering it free for you on Mondays, not starting Monday in two days, but I think starting the next Monday. Um, but Labor Day Monday, we won't. We'll do it on a Tuesday. I think so. it starts that Tuesday. Okay, so it soon. starts the Tuesday after Labor Day. I think so, too, because this coming Monday is our last Monday of August. We have been so busy all summer, I, I don't even know what day of the week it is. I don't know what time it is. I mean, I got up at 4.30 this morning, and I am still going. So, okay. Um, let's see. Okay, disappearing star. In another question, Steve? Nope. nope. Okay. Oh, I always worry about these falling. Okay, so um, this one right here is black tulip. There is a kit for it. Um, 
and there is a pattern, but the kit and the pattern are not ready yet. So as soon as we have those ready to go, we'll let you know. This is a class that Sherry will be teaching during Quilt Club Week. Um, beautiful quilt, great class. Um, I always say the thing that makes a quilt harder, all of the quilts as far as the sewing, when you do the, our methods of square and a square, overcutting and the science of patchwork, the sewing of every quilt is easy. What makes a quilt more difficult is the color. So you do have to pay attention to color, uh, which slows you down. So it's not a fast quilt, but they're achievable quilts, okay? Now, a lot of quilts that we show you can make six hours to 12 hours. Um, but if you have a, a color combo, then you do have to be careful. Now this one, we only offer it in one, um, one flavor, one color. Question, Mr. Steve? Uh, no. No. Page where I can reference your teaching videos. Oh, if I need yes. To go back and read yes, them. yes. So she has, she's making her own little index to go inside her notebook, which is great. Now, that brings me up to something else. So the program that we use, we have so many more teachings than what the average person has who kind of does some of this in whatever line of work they're doing, whether it's building model cars or whatever. <clears throat> We have more and more and more hours and videos in ours than anybody else. Now, other people don't need an index because they don't have hundreds of hours in their, their modules, and we do because we've been doing this for multiple years, maybe seven or eight years now. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna have to get a drink. Sorry about that. So, um, we don't have an index. Hopefully they're making one. Hopefully we can get one soon so that we can help you so that you can go back and find the different videos. But it is extremely helpful if in your notebook that you have pages in there where you can make notes because what's important to you in that video is going to be different for Susie over here of what's important for her in that video. So as you watch the videos, put the dates, put the name of the video, and then and if it's in a module where it's at, is it Quilt Club Week 2020 or whatever, so that it's easier for you to go back and do that. I can't tell you how many texts and emails we get where we say, I want to do a so-and-so border. I know where you taught. I know you taught in your border class, but which video is it? We have to go back and look just like you do to find out where that's at. Unless a lot of stuff, I do have some amazing files in my head that help, but um, we have to go and look too categories to put things yes. in. Yes. And that's not quite complete. Yes, and we also are working on creating categories. So if you think about like Netflix, you're like, oh, I want to watch a drama, or I want to watch a series, or a television, you know, uh, whatever. You can go into Netflix and you can put in dramas and then all of those show up and you go in and click the one that you want to watch. So we're working on that just on our own. Steve and his brilliant technology brain he is working on that and has been for about a year but of course that's a lot of work and a lot of time and um, he has to do that in between the emails and the shipping and the filming and the editing and everything else but that is something that we are working on we don't necessarily wait for somebody else to do it like the program people that we use we can go in and do it ourselves and build it the way we want and we're so grateful that we have um, Steve who is very talented at it and loves to do it um, because I, uh, his ball and chain keeps him at the computer working all the time. But he loves it. He loves it. He doesn't cry too much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's look at this quilt right here. This is another one that Sherry is teaching. She has two in-depth classes during Quilt Club Week and several uh, lectures. Um, I'm thinking like five or six different lectures that we did where we talked about different quilts and how you do them and so on. I think very edgy. Occasional. But anyway, this one here is called Stellar Star. You can see the pink and the aqua and the black, like I'm saying. 
If you don't have any of these diamond dots, you're definitely missing the boat here. And then for her focus print, she's used the purple, but you could go in here and the purple flower dot, you could use a purple bird or just, you know, switch it up to any of the, the colors that uh, float your boat if the pink background doesn't do that. And uh, once again, see these little four patches are in here. And um, so you're going to get a lot of four patch. So this one is same as black tulip. It will be a pattern that you can purchase. It will be a kit you can purchase. We'll work our hardest to have it. Well, we have to have it done by Quilt Club Week, but uh, to get it to you as soon as can. Uh, you'll get the free shipping of $150 or more up until the end of September. So you'll still be able to get in on. Um, but the thing about it is, is if you wait and just get a kit, the kits are not at the $10 a yard price. The kits are the regular price. So really encourage you to just go in and buy yardage. Um, and um, these backgrounds and these diamond dots, you need a lot of them. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm like, you're going to buy a lot of it, so you don't have to worry about running out. So that is that one. Question? Okay. Now this one is the uh, postage stamp star. And this is one that I'm teaching on... Um, Thursday, the very first day. I go in-depth on the four patch. I go in-depth uh, on the ruler. I go in-depth at the diamonds on starting at the very beginning because these are those diamond shapes that are in your quilt. Um, I was really excited with the way the, the filming and the editing and everything went on the postage stamp star. This is a pattern that is in um, your diamond book. So it's book two of your reference and it um, it is a kit but your pattern is in your book okay it's not an individual pattern and um, here you can see it with the the black and the the rust of the red stick I love this little circle that you get when you start working with the diamonds this this one is the diamonds with the points going out but look on here, we just switched the color. Instead of light diamond with dark, we did dark diamond with light. And see how the, the, the points go to the center of your design. And here the points go away to the center of your design. So this quilt, even though it uses the diamonds and these long uh, sphere shapes of half square triangles, this is easy. This is a great place to start to learn the diamonds, and the class goes into detail on everything. It will be uh, Thursday, one of my classes, Quilt Club Week, okay? All right, so here it is in uh, the Paradise colors. Let's move the camera just a little bit so they can see this one a little bit more. And so we've used the pink bird, the gray diamond dot, and the aqua diamond dot. If you didn't order any aqua, you need to get in there and order it. It's going fast, and the gray, okay? All right, question. On postage? On aqua. On the aqua. Is aqua more of a blue color? It looks like a really pretty blue. Well, it is a really pretty blue. <laughs> no matter what you call it. It's kind of a turquoisey. It's um, um, kind of an aqua. The thing about the colors of this is it's still the 1800 values of dyes, which means they're all really deep, rich colors. They're not, when, usually when you think about these colors, you think about brights, you think about neons, you think about pastels or jewel tones. And these pinks and blues and aquas and greens and stuff are not any of those. It's a whole nother category of color. It's not pastel, it's not neon, it's not bright. Um, pastel, neon, bright. I thought there was another one that I used. Anyway, it's a really unique and different color. It's from the 1800s, which are really deep, rich dyes and colors. So two different colors makes the quilts look totally different. In this one, the circle really jumps out. And in this one, the four-pointed star really jumps out. If I was remaking this one, I probably would make my pink star be the aqua and then make the um, aqua star be the pink and of course the black backgrounds you can use anywhere we've done a lot of other background colors just so that you can see what it looks like to use the other diamond dots for background because they're all great to me the black is, is pretty much common knowledge that you know that you can use that as your background 
Okay. All right, class for Monday. You'll be getting an email sometime between, um, well, probably tomorrow, Sunday, for class on Monday. We're going to be doing the pineapple spool. And here we have, um, I think, a six inch square in the middle. And here we have like a 10 inch square in the middle. You can see it scrappy in the vintage or with just the purple flower and the black. Um, and um, um, when you, um, I'm not sure exactly about the download on it because I don't have that pattern finished, but it's just a real quick one. Um, uh, probably in your email, you'll be having a link where you can uh, get it. It'll, you will have a little bit of a, a fee on it to download that one, but it won't be much. Like our soldier's comfort, what was our soldier comfort pattern download? It was like, was it like $5.95 or something? Yeah. So this one will probably be like that uh, too. Okay. So I have some, a couple of uh, new quilts to show you. Um, we're going to look at those real quick. So this one here is a Amish design and it is called Sunshine and Shadows. And you know that the Amish used pretty much all solids. They didn't use prints and, um, all of their patterns have, let's look down here on the table, all of their patterns have like a meaning to them. So it just sunshine and shadows. So it just shows that the sunshine, you're going to have the good times in life and the shadows, the dark, you're going to have some, some hard times in life and that's just the way it is. So any of our diamond dots that work as solids, you could come in here and do them and do them kind of in a color wave. And I love there, I want, I have a couple of different designs that I want to do with that and I have two different just strip ones that I'll be showing you this fall that you can use your um, leftover scraps and strips on with all of these and I really think those are probably going to be my favorite and then this one this is a huge king size quilt um, we taught this one in quilt club week last year and it was the English paper piecing, but I want you to see it's so heavy. I'm going to put it down here on the table because it's just so heavy. I can't hold it. Okay. Okay. So I want you to see on this design how all of these new fabrics that we have would be perfect for this quilt. You'll have the black diamond dot for your background. And I think you need about five or six yards of it because if you're making it this size, because these are big like 22 by 24 inch blocks. And um, so you need that a big piece um, for that. And then your flowers can all be from your bright colors, your aquas and your pinks and your purples for your flowers. And then your vase down here could be one of the other, maybe you want it to be your bird or maybe another uh, diamond dot. But you can see how all of this works great with the new fabric line if you have not made this. Even one of these, I think I have two left that you know I used in teaching and so they were in different steps that I think I'm gonna finish up and maybe do like Euro pillows for them and have them on the bed with uh, this particular quilt because this is one that fits on our king size bed. So I wanted you to see this one and think about the new fabrics and just how they all go together and just all look beautiful. And this was a um, basket quilt and we taught it in quilt club week. And see how in the borders and the sashing we just used our, our scraps on. This one will be upside down but you can still see the colors. On it. Love, love this quilt. Uh, this is one that I can't believe I got done because there's so much handwork. And I give the story on this particular quilt in the Quilt Club Week um, session. Now these are just a couple of um, fallish quilts. I don't think I've ever shown these before. So I just wanted to show them to give you some ideas because We've got some great fabrics that would work for this. Now this would really be pretty in paradise and each leaf you make a pink, an orange, a yellow or whatever. And then um, use, I would use one of these um, cobblestones uh, for my borders. This one would be great. Now on this one, you just go in and choose the size of um, half square triangle you want. Just go to page 34 to the option four chart 
choose the size of half square triangle you want. You're going to get four of them out of one basic square. So one, two, three, four, that's one basic square. And then you've just got plain squares. And this is just a little embroidery um, stem on the leaf, but you can also use these Pigma pen pencils and just put your stem on there. Just make it really simple and easy. This one I did hand quilt. You can see the hand quilting of the leaf inside. Well, maybe. Yeah, there you can see the hand quilting of the leaf. And I don't know if I have a date on here, but I would say late 80s, early 90s. Here it is. 1992, January 16th. Yep. And there's the quilting on the back. So hang it on the wall, put it on your table. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, this is a little pattern that I had, oh, long, 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 long time ago. It's not anywhere, but I'm going to redo it so that you guys can see it. But look at this night sky with the black. And then see your yellow is going to go in here for the glowing eyes and nose and smile of your pumpkin. And then use your, your orange birds and your purple birds and stuff all down here for the, the leaves and everything in the bottom of the pumpkin patch. And just all squares, half square triangles. Use your option 18 in here for your nose. So we'll work on this pattern and have it sometime. But all of these colors we have are so great for that. And then this one, the diamond book has all kinds of stars in it with these long thin points. And so look at this cute little table runner for fall just with that. So let's look at some fall colors. So in this collection right here, you can see the, um, these are the two diamond dots from Paradise. This is the black stick from Vintage the orange floral from Vintage, and then this. So this would be great for any of these leaves or um, the Star Table Runner. And then I also want to point out and bring this one over. Um, and we showed these during the other Fabric Live that we did. So black stick the two diamond dots, the orange bird from Paradise. We have two um, checks here from our everyday checks. And then these are from the vintage, the orange floral, the green fuzzy leaf, the gold stick, the orange bow tie. All of these would be great for any of these fall ones that I showed you. And we have shipped out some combos like this. So I know people looked at that and liked that from the previous video. And then I want to go in and show you this one because this would be so gorgeous for any design that you want to pick. Any design, any of the quilt patterns. So we have the um, we have the black diamond dot, the gray diamond dot, and these people who have a farmhouse look in their home with the grays and the blacks and the creams, these are all gorgeous to have. So we have three different checks, the red ta tan, the red dirt, and the black, the black stick, gray diamond dot, black diamond dot, the two bow ties, the red floral, and the red fuzzy leaf. So hopefully you have some of the vintage and you need to order all of this. We have sent out several looks like this and you can go, if you're uh, wanting an idea for the fall class that is not paradise, this right here is going to be a great one and I'm going to try to get a sample made up using the blacks and the reds and the grays because this is up my alley. This is stuff that I love and um, I think that would be really pretty but also pretty in any design. Maybe you want this for Gold Rush or for your tulip quilt or um, any of those. This one is really great. Okay, and then let's just kind of look at the fabric. Uh, oh, I want to show you, um, what did I do? Okay, this is the black flaming bud, the black check, that orange dot. Uh-oh, okay. Did we lose everybody or just the monitor? Still 
recording, but... Okay, so maybe you can hear us. We're still recording, but something went AWOL. So I'm just going to keep talking if you can hear me. Quilt Club Week is the last week of September. Early bird starts on Wednesday night. Classes open each morning, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think we're back. We'll have my monitor is still gone. Really? But are we filming? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or Steve at Square in a Square. If you um, need help, you can go that way and. Make sure you get your schedule downloads. We'll see you Monday in class, and we will work on our pineapple spools. Watch for an email coming tomorrow on Sunday and for information about your pattern, if you're interested in the pattern. Um, and I guess that's it. Any last-minute questions on there, Steve? Okay, bye for now.